welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. So this week I am not on screen, fancy just kind of kicking back a little bit and uh, just showing you the cards really, showing you what, a, what, what your spread looks like. We're going to be doing um, a, I'll tell you the spread that we're doing this week and I'll show you the cards obviously as well. So firstly, uh, the cards that we're using this week are the Everyday Enchantment Tarot. Uh, this is the one that I usually use for my clients. But you'll see that when I use this, I actually cut it down. I trimmed it. I'm one of those readers that watches all the trimming videos of cards and all of the edging and stuff. So I trimmed it and edged it, and it looks absolutely fantastic. I only did it, actually, because I've got a second backup deck of this that hasn't been opened. So I thought, hey-ho. So we're going to use that. And we're going to use, probably for the first reading, the Psychic Tarot of the Heart by John Holland. I just love these cards. I've had these, like, a couple of years, never really used them. Uh, two, three years, I think, along with the, the other deck of his, the one in the blue box. And I never used them. Started using them, and they are incredible. So we're going to use those. And any clarifiers, any clarification we might need, guys, we will use the uh, the small radiant rider weight tarot in a tin. So sit back, relax, and enjoy your week ahead reading. Hi Aries, welcome to Carol's Universe Tarot Readings from the Heart. So we're going to do uh, we're going to do your reading for you. It's the week ahead, twenty third of Feb through to the 29th of February. Um, if you've looked at the cards that I'm using at the beginning of the reading, guys, then you'll kind of know that, um, you know, I'm using the John Holland Psychic Tarot and there were a couple of other decks that I showed there as well. Um, but I've decided also to kind of just, you know, add in a few, a few other ones. And the one that I want to use for the general reading for you guys today is the Tarot of Enchanted Dream by, Dreams by Yasmin Westwood. It's a really, really good deck. I really, really love this deck. Um, and also we'll add in the John, uh, John Holland uh, Psychic um, Tarot of the Heart as well. So with that being said, let's let's get started on the reading. I'm going to do a 10 card general reading. All I'm looking at is just the general kind of advice, energies that the universe wants you to know between the 23rd and the 29th of February 2020. That's all we want to do today with this. And then we're going to have a look at your work very briefly and also love for the week. So Okay, guys, the cards are down. Let's have a look at what the uh, what the universe is trying to say to you this week, then, uh, Aries. Uh, the chariot. So the chariot is all about moving forward, taking control. It's a, a, a card that references the home and fam family. I think it's the... Uh, uh, it's the zodiac sign that rules nurturing home and family and, you know, really kind of taking care of your loved ones, especially children. So it's kind of like a mother mother and child card. It's nurturing that type of thing. It rules home and family. So some of you guys, it's a week for nurturing and taking care of family matters and that type of thing, I guess, with the chariot. But more than anything, for me, the chariot is all about moving forward and overcoming hurdles with the chariot energy. It's also a card that represents after a hard-fought battle, we have success with the chariot energy. Uh, the six of coins energy. So I'm seeing here, I mean, the six of coins is, is money and it's giving and receiving. All right. Some of you guys might be having to pay out for a car. I know that's a bit of a crap kind of analogy with the cars, but it's true. I mean, the chariot is a car as well. And the six of coins can be having to pay money out. Some of you guys having to pay money out for a car, for example. All right. Uh, some of you guys, it could be you're achieving victory. The chariot is a victorious card. It says you're overcoming challenges here. Maybe some of you guys are earning a reward or getting a reward with the Six of Coins energy here. Because this can be where you're giving something out or getting it back with the Six of Coins. Uh, King of Swords. Could be from a King of Swords. Could be from someone in authority. You may be receiving advice as well. Six of Coins is receiving. It's not always money. Sometimes you're receiving other things. Help, support. King of Swords is an advisor. So you may be receiving some help, support from an advisor. You might be getting back some money from someone here. Some of you guys might be paying money for a car. Maybe you're advised to buy a certain car, that type of thing. But this is an advisor here, the King of Swords. This could be something legal too. Maybe there could be a legal payout here as well with the King of Swords and Six of Coins showing here. 
Uh, we have the Ace of Wands. So Ace of Wands is communication. So lots of communication coming from the King of Swords, perhaps showing up here. Let's have a look. Oh, two kings. I'm getting communication uh, surrounding you and it's concerning a couple of people here. You may also be getting, when you get kings in readings, they show people who have great power and people who are in places of authority. So you may be receiving lots of messages, that type of thing, from a couple of people in power, from people in power showing up here. You may be getting some advice, but I'm seeing people around you who have great places of power. That I love the way that the kings have been depicted on this particular deck of cards because it's not a person it's just a throne which i just really love it's the throne of power so i'm getting lots of messages lots of communication coming through from maybe a couple of people in power or you're conversing with people in power this week um maybe it could be concerning how you overcome a situation maybe this situation requires uh, or or uh, or um uh, involves receiving money let's have a look at the next one here we've got death so there's a few changes coming up here or there's a big change coming in sorry this week the ace of coins receiving money i'm seeing a change happening and receiving of money ace of coins energy showing here but the two of swords so maybe you're not seeing this receiving money two of swords let's have a look uh, page of swords i'm seeing blocked communication so you guys not seeing some communication here because two of swords is also cannot see and the page of swords is like an email so check your emails and stuff because some of you guys may not see some very important communication it could be to do with your receiving money you might kind of um uh, um, accidentally kind of not see a, a particular email or something like that let's have a look at the next one showing oh you've got three kings um, I've got business matters coming in for Aries this week because when you get three kings in the reading, three kings are very, very important. They do talk about success. All right. So some of you guys, it could be that you are finally achieving victory, the chariot energy. Maybe you're getting some money in. You've got the uh, ace of coins and the six of coins energy. Both cards refer to receiving money. It's money in the hand. So achieving victory, receiving money with both cards. There's been a big change. You guys receiving victory, getting money in showing here. Okay, it could be that you're being uh, that you're that you're not seeing an email concerning this though. Maybe you miss an email or something. So make sure that you check on that because the two of swords and the page of swords could be that you don't see some important information, and some of you guys aren't seeing important information. I'm seeing lots of communication though going on with people in very high places because you've got the king of swords, the king of cups and the king of wands all right it could also be involving a new working project all right or maybe a couple of working projects showing up here okay so uh communication happening lots of communication this week for some of you aries eight of wands with some very important people in power king of swords king of cups and the king of wands about a project with the um uh, with the ace of coins energy showing here okay um i'm also seeing that if there are some important uh, meetings that type of thing they should be successful because you've got these three kings indicating success maybe you receive the project maybe you get the project that type of thing um or you're getting paid for some work that you've done the outer coins is also working this is payment six of pentacles so it could be getting paid for a project that you've done as well uh, this week if there is the ending to a project coming in some of you guys not taking any more calls for the time being you may be considering going on holiday with that king of wands energy there and we do have that chariot there as well two travel cards in the reading chariot and the king of wands you may be considering going on holiday so if you're finished work some of you guys are looking at finishing work this week perhaps with those two cards and you're kind of focusing on now winding down maybe you're going to be ignoring some emails showing here and you're looking to maybe travel and go on holiday uh that type of thing but it's a very good week i think for aries because we've got money coming in with the eight of coins and the six of coins we've got some very important meetings taking place for some of you guys with people in really really powerful positions uh showing up here um some of you guys are learning how to do this as well so some of you guys it may be that you're considering with the two of swords energy uh kind of uh going up a notch in your career if this is anything to do with career because you go from the page of swords page of swords is gaining knowledge on how to become that king so some of you guys are probably considering kind of um enhancing your skills because this is like enhancing your skills to this area here some of you guys are probably looking to go from a page 
Two of, of King of Wands, or you're looking to enhance your skills through the Page of Swords, which would be study. So some of you guys could be studying this as well, the King of Wands. Some of you guys are looking to study something like, it might be that you've got a couple of um, choices to make. It may be the choices some of you guys are considering as well this week is whether you do a more kind of practical and traditional job or, where, or it could be, you know, and it could be something to do with changing job as well. So you might have a decision to make this week for some of you guys. Being that the Two of Swords is standing in between that Death and the Ace of Coins and the Page of Swords and the King of Wands, you may be considering this week with the Two of Swords energy ending a job, for example, here, and probably studying for something else, studying for a King of Wands. So some of you guys, if you're working in a more kind of uh, practical or mundane job, you know, Pentacles are mundane jobs, right? They're like cards, they're jobs like uh, bank managers or bank tellers or, uh, you know, shop assistants or something like that. Whereas the King of Wands would probably be kind of an entrepreneurial thing. So actually, it could be some of you guys this week are actually with that Two of Swords as well, considering quitting death and the ace of coins your job because you want to study perhaps this is like running an ebay business or running an amazon business you know when you go online like onto youtube and you see that people are saying oh you know um you know join our ebay business or join our um you know, join our uh, eBay business or um, join our, um, you know, Amazon business. We'll send you a book and show you how you can make £30,000 a month, that type of thing. So some of you guys might be doing that. You might be saying, you know what, I don't want to do this mundane job anymore. Uh, I've made a decision that actually I think I'm going to study, you know, to uh, do a bit of study here. Page of Swords, I'm going to learn with the Page of Swords how to become an entrepreneur. King of Wands will be an entrepreneur running his own business. I, I want to learn how I run my own business. I don't want to work for people anymore. I want to learn how to run my own business. So you may be getting through lots of information, all right, from people who have the knowledge because kings also mean knowledge. So if you're wanting to study how to become that King of Wands, how to become the entrepreneur, Aries and run your own, say, internet business, which would be your Amazon, your eBay, whatever the internet business are, because you're always hearing these things. And so you can earn £30,000 a month. You can earn £40,000 a month. You can earn £50,000 a month. That type of thing. I hear it all the time. Um, so if this is the mundane of the Ace of Coins, you say, look, you know, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't want to do this mundane job. I'm making a decision now to learn how to become an internet entrepreneur, which the King of Wands could be, definitely. And there's lots of messages here. You're getting lots of messages from people who have the knowledge, King of Swords, King of Cups, on how you would probably do that as well. Okay, um, some of you guys are trying to take control of your income as well. Six of coins can be like income and expenditure because you're not only getting in, you're paying out as well. Do you see what I mean? Like the person who usually, can you see the hands? This is the money. So, so this money is being given. So the, what's being given is being paid out. So some of you guys are trying to take control with the chariot of your expenditure as well with the six of coins energy. All right, some of you guys say, I've got to change my job here. All right, I've got, a, I've got a decision to make. I want to take control of my expenditure, my income, my outgoings. Uh, I could do that if I ended my job. I've got a decision here. Maybe I want to go train uh, to be an internet entrepreneur here. And I'm going to get lots of information from people who have the knowledge. King of Swords, King of Cups. Very interesting reading. Let's have a look at what the John Holland um, deck says to you then. Universe Spirit, what is the advice from John Holland for Aries this week? What is the advice for John Holland for Aries this week, please? Show me the advice for John Holland for Aries this week in a uh, in a uh, ten card reading. Show me. Oh, I'll just put ten cards down. Why did I do that? Okay, we'll put ten cards down then. I didn't mean to do ten. I meant to do five. Right, so love abounds. Love is all around you, Aries, but you've got to take the lead. And I think it's correlating to this. You have to take the lead. Uh, I think, and I think a lot of it for some of you guys is a money issue. You're kind of like, well, you know what? I'm not doing too well in the money states and I really need to take control of my income and expenditure. All right. So number one, take control of in, uh, in, uh, income and expenditure. But also if, if it's, if it, you'll find it a little bit tricky financially wise, this is a, a month that you're, or a week that you're looking at, you know, ending what you're doing right now. You would probably won't end it completely, but you're definitely probably going to be looking at ending your job and you're considering probably doing, and, and also the two of swords is balanced heart and mind. So when you get the two of swords, it's not always that you're kind of, uh, you know having to make a decision it's kind of like you know your heart and mind are in balance with one another it's ruled by libra is the two of swords so it's a balanced heart and mind so you know 
you know with the two of swords energy you envision your vision your intuition remember with the two of swords her eyes are covered so all she can do really is go inside and get inside so your intuition this is an intuitive card as well so your intuition tells you that maybe you should be learning about doing something big on the internet be, be running your own shit which would be the king of wands lover bounds take the lead is what it says there now this is hang on this is reversed some of you guys, I mean, this is moving on when it's in the upright, and this would be an Eight of Cups, but the Eight of Cups is reversed in this deck, all right? The greens, I think, are, the greens are the cup cards. Uh, the purples, I think, are the ones, all right? Three of Wands, take the lead. Eight of Cups, moving on, is reversed. All right, Love Abounds, don't be afraid, take the lead. Some of you guys are not moving, all right? Um, coming together is the next one here will bring success and growth so i just feel when it says coming together in this card here i think it's kind of connecting with this king of swords and the king of cups especially all right it's saying that you need to talk to people who are in the know you need to kind of come together and work with people to get to where you want to go um let's have a look at the other five cards i only meant to choose five uh, but i said ten so i'm going to choose ten here all right, so uh, we've got the awaiting results. Some of you guys are awaiting results, showing here with the seven, showing here. Um, clarity of belief, trust. All right, I think that you need to trust in your own perceptions here because clarity of belief is having a clear belief system. And the trust card, you can see she's going, so you need to trust in your what you're seeing and what you believe, okay? And you need to put the effort in, dedicated effort. Uh, the eight of pentacles, I think that one is. Uh, simply love, all right? If you love something, you need to put the time into it, all right? Uh, this is the six of cups. So the six of cups is what you love. I think that you need to put the effort into something that you love, what you love. All right, so it's interesting because um, in a way, what we're seeing here, I don't think we can see the bottom cards really. I should probably bring the um, the camera up, but I really wanted to see everything. So firstly, we were seeing the chariot. And this is you guys trying to take control probably of your income and expenditure with the six of pentacles showing here, okay? Um, and I feel that some of you guys are saying, you know what, I want to end what I'm doing right now, all right, uh, with the death and the ace of coins energy. And I've decided, let's say a decision with the two of swords because it's balanced heart and mind. I've decided that I'm going to learn uh, with the king of swords on how to be an on internet entrepreneur for some of you guys showing here. So I see you guys getting lots of information from two kings, people who have the sound knowledge on that, okay? And the universe is saying to back this up, don't worry, love abounds. Whatever you're doing, it's the right thing, but you've got to take the lead. Some of you guys are not moving forward with this. So you need to convene with others, these two kings with the coming together card, if you want to have success and growth. You're awaiting results, but you need to believe and you need to trust in what your perceptions are. If you really love what you do, and if you really want to do this thing with the Simply Love card, it really takes effort, okay? You've got to put the effort in, okay? All right, let's let's uh, let's get on with the work reading. Uh, bear with me. Okay, Aries, let's have a look at what's going on for work. Now, the first reading, the general, looked very much like a work situation going on there. So maybe this is a follow-on. Let's have a look. Five of Swords. So Five of Swords can be uh, sabotaging the workplace. Five of Swords can be somebody who's cruel and abusive and rude and um, somebody who's jealous as well with the Five of Swords uh, in the workplace. Some This can be somebody who's quite controlling this could be a nasty boss when you get the five of swords energy showing here well I, I certainly feel that you're moving on i think that you're moving away you can see the six of swords six is coming after that five so you're moving away gradually finally aries maybe from a difficult situation you're experiencing in the workplace because you've got that five of swords this is an abusive person or this abusive person that you're working with could probably be leaving with that six of swords energy showing here um i think this is transitioning five of swords is transitioning with the six of swords to love or it could be that you're making a decision to leave behind a battle a problem within the workplace all right, because the five of swords can be the battle, it's the problem, it's the abusive boss, it's the rude person, it's the competitive colleague, it's the backstabber, it's all of those things. And some of you guys, because this is a choice, uh, Aries, you may be choosing with the lover's energy to leave a backstabbing environment, for example, here. Uh, yeah, I think that you're choosing it. I think some of you guys are choosing to leave 
uh, Six of Swords to move away from this energy here, this negative energy here. Pursue a new path with the Page of Wands energy here. You're definitely looking probably to go back to college, learn something creative. You're looking to pursue maybe something in terms of learning a new craft or pursue a new path in terms of learning something new. Because you've got a page in the Hierophant. This is like the teacher and the student, okay? So some of you guys are probably looking to maybe go back to college or to take up a course learning something new. And even if you are staying where you are, Aries, okay, you're deciding that you're going to leave this behind. And it may be that you still have to stay in this for some of you guys. But while you're, because I'm getting here the planning ahead stage. So even if some of you guys have to stay in a really kind of nasty environment, what you're doing and what you're choosing to do, Aries, you're choosing to leave this behind by pursuing kind of going on a course and learning maybe another skill, doing something new. So it takes you on to the next phase. Uh, we've got the Eight of Swords. I'm just getting some of you guys feeling really stuck with the Eight of Swords energy showing here. And you're definitely with the Seven of Coins considering a new job with that Seven of Coins energy showing here. Five of Coins. Some of you guys have been feeling like an outsider or you're not earning enough money with the Five of Coins energy. Now look here. Can you see that? But Now the way that this is depicted on the Enchanted Tarot is what I find to be very, very interesting. Because what we've got is the Five of Pentacles. So the Five of Pentacles, usually it's two people coming out of a, a building, isn't it? Fives are ruled by the Hierophant as well. But this has got nothing to do with this because you're pursuing, a, probably looking at doing a, a, a course or something like that with those cards. Probably a creative course because it's the Page of Wands. Um, but also this could be you guys kind of saying, I've decided to leave behind a job that I don't like. People that I don't like more than likely with the Five of Swords energy showing up here. Um, Page of Wands, I'm looking at a new path. Perhaps this is in a new company, something like that as well. It's definitely uh, something to do with going on a course here, but also it could be working for a new company or something like that. You've got the five of coins here. Now look at this. Can you see how all these people are? And it's really funny. I had this deck. I've got two of these. You can see that this has been trimmed by me, cut down and edged. But what's interesting with this particular, um, with this particular card is that um, what we find is we have this five of coins and what I, what we what we're doing is we're kind of seeing inside what's going on the people that are standing outside here as I said I had this three years and I never noticed the people outside it was the weirdest thing which is why I always used to think why did she do the card like that because it looks like this person's very happy they're just gambling and they're getting money and I thought why has she done the cards like this but then I never noticed it was only I think it was yesterday when I was using these cards for another sign that I noticed the people outside these people don't have anything so these are outsiders these are the people that are looking from the outside in. They're seeing people with money, but they don't have anything. So this is the outsider card showing up here. All right. Some of you guys are definitely considering something else here. All right. You're feeling really kind of claustrophobic and suffocated and anxious and exhausted and frustrated by probably that five of swords. Also feeling very powerless against this five of swords energy. All right. Against this five of swords, which is why I think that you're making a decision to leave to leave, to leave the job, okay, you're making a decision to get some guidance as well, because Six of Swords is guidance, so getting really frustrated about the powers that be, the Five of Swords, Fives are power, because the Hierophant rules the Fives and these are people in authority, so some of you guys getting really frustrated by somebody who you have no power to control, this person leads, this person's not very nice, and so you guys are basically making a decision as well to get some guidance, Perhaps with the Seven of Coins energy on what other options are available to you. Five of Coins energy showing here. Feeling like the outsider perhaps with that Five of Coins energy. Wanting to leave with the Knight of Wands energy showing here. Okay. Now it's interesting. The Knight of Wands rushes towards that Five. Okay. So, um, I mean, Aries, you're not Sagittarius. But this is definitely anyway a fire sign. So you're exploring as well. Exploring new territories, all right, feeling like an outsider and exploring new territory with the Knight of Wands energy. Yeah, there's definitely, uh, you've got pages here as well, okay, you guys are exploring a new venture here with this cup, Page of Cups energy. You're exploring a new create, and it's definitely something probably creative, because I get the impression as well that wherever you are, Aries, it's sapping you off your creative abilities too, because we've got these two pages here, and it is, uh, pages uh, in readings are new things, but, you know, the page of cuts and the page of wands, they're creativity, so this is new, this is creativity, and what I've got here is that you guys are making a decision to get some guidance on what other opportunities are out there? Maybe what are the other opportunities for you to earn more money? 
uh, five of coins, which I know we don't usually explain the card that way, but she's got money here. Some of you guys, though, if we were to look at her, she's taking a gamble. She's at the gambling machines. So some of you guys are saying, look, I'm feeling really frustrated by the way that I'm treated in my job. So therefore, I'm decided I'm going to get some guidance on what other opportunities are out there with the seven of coins. Can you see how she's considering the opportunity there? All right. Uh, because I feel like an outsider and I want to take a gamble now and explore new ventures, new opportunities, page of cups energy showing here, new ventures, new paths. Okay, I've made a decision to probably go back to college and study something else or study a new course that allows me to pursue this new path going forward. I think you've, but I think it all stems from, I don't know whether it's money, it could be a money thing because you've got her considering the money. So it could be money, but it also I think it's, I think it's money and also I think that you're frustrated that you've got people here that take advantage and you're powerless against these people, which is why you're saying I need guidance on what other opportunities are out there and how I can probably make more money because I think that you're also dealing with probably not just people who are probably quite nasty, but also you're dealing with probably a job where your skills are not being recognised and you're not probably earning what you're worth. All right, so let's have a quick look at the love reading. Bear with me. Okay, Aries, let's have a look at your love situation this week. What the advice is this week. So we've got new love, Ace of Cups energy showing here. So I, I think something is at an end here, if I'm being honest with you. Because you've got the Ace of Cups. Ace of Cups can be about a new relationship. Um, usually I would read the Ace of Cups as being a new relationship or love or feelings at an end. Because the Ace of Cups is all about your feelings as well. But emotions, feelings, new love, it's come to a close, I think, with the death card showing here. Knight of Swords energy. Some of you guys probably feeling quite angry about that, to be honest with you, because the Knight of Swords is anger. So I feel that a new romance has come to an end, and some of you guys might be feeling quite angry about that with the Knight of Swords energy. Uh, maybe you're feeling quite angry that you were a fool. Maybe you feel like a fool. The Tower energy showing here. So, um, mm, feeling quite angry. The Fool and the Tower so this is, this is a reckless act. This is a reckless act because this is a silly act that has led to the tower, that, is a, that has led to destruction. So I would say that some of you guys, uh, a new romance has come to an end. You're feeling quite angry that a foolish act probably led to this, the tower, the destruction. I'm wondering if you're blaming yourself for this. I think tower rules uh, Aries as well. It's a Mars card isn't it? And Mars is one of your ruling planets. So I think that that is you on the card as well. This rules your, this rules your, uh, your sign. Okay. So this is, it feels like it's something that you did. It feels like you're almost angry that something that you did, some stupidity here maybe led to that tower. Uh, we've got though the six of cups, which could be a reunion though, showing up with the six of cups energy, 10 of swords energy. I don't think that there is a reunion here. You've got that 10 of swords. Um, the Ten of Swords can also be beating yourself up as well, but I don't think it's that. Ten of Swords can be surrendering, but Ten of Swords is hurt. Something from the past hurts. Uh, the world energy, so no. I mean, I think that kind of any chance of a reconciliation, I feel he's done and dusted. That Ten of Swords uh, ending and the world for sure. It's an ending of a cycle. It's a, a, The phase is gone. It's gone. It's done. Let's have a look at the next one. The Queen of Wands, which is you. Uh, the Eight of Cups energy here um i think that you're trying some of you guys may be trying to manipulate this person to come back that's them on the card they've gone that person's gone some of you guys want to manipulate them can you see how you have the wand wands manipulate he saw me like in harry potter who goes bazam and brings something into into being do you see what i mean so this is like trying to bring them back some of you guys might be wanting to bring them back because this person's turned so this is you on the card wanting to bring this person back it if it resonates with you, Aries, try not to beat yourself up too much. But some of you guys, I think, are beating yourself up and you're blaming yourself for the ending of a relationship. You're blaming yourself and you're saying it's your fault. We do it again. I think a relatively new relationship might be at an end for some of you guys. Uh, I see um, this is either because of some reckless action or you're feeling very angry about it. So new relationship at an end. I'm getting some anger here with the Knight of Swords. It feels to me some foolish act that you did probably uh you know um probably constituted towards the breakdown with the tower energy showing here um the potential for a reconciliation i feel with the uh the, the uh, tower card and that world energy is probably not forthcoming 
right now because it just feels like everything is over but i feel that you guys are still going to be trying to work your magic on getting this person back with the eight of cups can you see how you've got the wand and you're trying to uh, you're trying to um almost pazam them you know almost kind of um, manifest them back into your world because she's a manifester as well with her wand i love this version of her can you see how you're pointing the wand towards this person this person's got their their back turned i'm wondering if there were a, it's a water sign that you guys were dealing with at all a scorpio pisces it could be pisces first deacon pisces person it could be a scorpio pisces cancer and you're dealing with but i feel that you don't want to give up on a relationship i think that some of you guys are um feeling a bit bad about something the only reason i say it's you is because it looks like it's you that tower is ruled by uh is mars ruled by um which rules uh, aries and that's an area that's you there being the queen of wands with your wand and that's the person who's turned their back um don't beat yourself up too much if it's meant to be then it's meant to be all right we're going to have a quick look at what the advice is for the week then aries according to the cards overall so what is the overall advice for aries this week please what is the overall advice for Aries this week, please. All right, that one, uh, I'm not going to take all the cards. I'm just going to take one of the top two, many of them. Right, so it's choose love is your advice for the week. And it says, um, let's have a look. If you're struggling with an obstacle or conflict, choose a path of love. Suffering, doubt and frustration all transform in the presence of love. So show your love courageously, show your love openly, show your love with no strings attached. It's safe to give and receive love. In fact, if you have a hard time with self-love, start outside yourself and work your way in. Showing love to others can be a gateway for loving yourself. Fantastic. I really like that. All right. That is your reading for the week, my darlings. I'd like to say thanks ever so much for joining me on Carol's Universe. If you'd like to order your own personal reading, go ahead. You can click on the link in the comment section below or at the end screen. Or you can uh, type my website details into Google. You'll actually find that the website details are at the top of this reading. They've been there all throughout. All right, take care, guys. Love you. Bye.